right, so today we're gonna have a little bit of fun and I'm actually really excited about this video We're going to be doing a legends rebuild, but we're gonna do it with a little twist We're gonna be doing a fantasy draft. So I guess it's called the legends Fantasy draft rebuild. I guess you could call it a challenge too if you want so first off if you guys missed yesterday's video it's gonna be right here on the screen you guys see what it was it was the Royals rebuild if you guys missed it go ahead and click this little card that's popping up in the corner so you guys can go and watch that rebuild from last night it was uploaded a little bit later so if you missed it I do understand but right here go and click that link if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy baseball content make sure you hit that subscribe button we're about you know a couple thousand away from 15,000 so let's see if we can hit that by the end of the month that would be amazing and if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that like button it's the easiest way for me to know that you guys enjoy this content so with that being said let me show you the roster that we're using so the roster's name is gonna be right below it's called legends league 1889 to 2019 so that's what it's called that's what you're gonna search and it's one of the most uh, like one of the most downloaded rosters if you just search the word legends so it's one of the most downloaded rosters so you guys can see we'll quickly kind of go through each team's available players um obviously there are minors as well so there's these aren't all the players available but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fantasy draft i just kind of want to quickly show you guys any of the players that we you know we may overlook later down the line so if you guys ever need to pause it to look at some of these rosters go ahead but there's some pretty interesting names i think i just saw jose canseco mark Teixeira, craig biggio there's even current players as well so this is going to be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to this we're going to try out players that we've never used before and i think this is going to be a lot of fun so like i said um of, we're going to do a fantasy draft which should be uh, like just like just something that's fun it's it's different we haven't done anything like that before and there's that so pitchers um i mean i guess we could quickly go through pitchers as well but i, I think you guys can kind of get the idea it's mostly going to be starters um but there's some pretty interesting names i know bo jackson's in here barry bonds um for pitchers you're gonna see burt blylevin uh nolan ryan raleigh fingers stuff like that so randy johnson's there a rods in this jeter big poppy you know antonio alfonseca the six-fingered freak um but you guys can see there's just there's a lot of good players in here and i think this is going to be a very difficult rebuild to win a world series just because there's so many good players the freak tin lincecum even makes it into this so with that being said let's hop into this fantasy draft now okay because we are dealing with legends i have a feeling contracts are going to be very difficult to control we're going to turn ignore budgets on just so that we can have some fun i'm not going to go out and just be able to sign a crazy amount of players i still am going to try to keep it you know somewhat you know enjoyable where we're not just going out and getting crazy amount of players but um, we are going to have fantasy draft on and we're going to ignore budgets just because I think it's going to be almost impossible to keep a decent squad with budgets on. So let's hop into it. We chose the Cubs and we have the third pick. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. I like this one a lot. All right. So let's see who we're going to choose with the third overall pick. And there are so many good players we could choose. Sandy Koufax, Tom Glavin lefty groves available i feel like going with the pitcher is kind of a waste just because there's gonna be so many good pitchers i saw roger clemens there um, mariano rivera billy wagner oh man this is gonna be tough i mean look at the catchers you got pudge yogi Berra, mike piazza oh man i might be sitting here for like the next 27 hours like this is gonna be we gotta go a rod i feel like that's just a no-brainer right barry bonds but he's 32. He might decrease in overall pretty quickly. I mean, Mickey Mantle, Joe DiMaggio. Why is there two Mickey Mantles? I don't get that one. We got Willie Mays. Ooh. Ooh. Willie Mays or A-Rod? Uh, let's, let's go. You know what? Let's go A-Rod. All right. Round two. Barry Bonds is available. Um, ooh, man, this is this is gonna be a tough one for sure. Ooh, a good too low. So what I'm thinking is well, maybe we do like 10-ish rounds, maybe get the starting lineup, and, and then we uh, kind of skip through the rest. I might take a Griffey. 
I think a ooh, Roberto Clemente. A Beltron. Oh, we got. Let's just go Ken Griffey Jr. We got. Let's let's stack this squad up. Okay, so I'm looking at a bunch of different positions here. I'm like looking at first base. We got Jeff Bagwell. We got a uh, aging Miggy. We got Jim Tome. Um, Cody Bellinger. Ooh, that's a tempting one. I'm um, just to get a kind of a, a a modern feel to it, like a today's ball player. We got Joe Torre. I'm thinking catcher might be one of the last positions we take. Um, I do like Roberto Alomar. Rogers Hornsby. Ooh, a good Robbie Cano. Ooh, this is a tough one. We already got a third baseman. A shortstop might be good because I can see the ratings. You know, it kind of goes from like 95 and then just drops pretty quickly. So I might take this too low. He's young. Ooh, a good Jose Reyes, though. Ooh, this is a tough one. Is there any Nomar? Ooh, I do like Nomar. Nomar is one of my favorite players. What we're going to do, though, a 25-year-old too low that's got some pop. We got to take that for sure. Already another one of my favorite players. I know Vlad's available. Sammy Sosa, I loved watching growing up as a Cubs fan. But Manny Ramirez, we got to take him. Just power and such a sweet swing. All right, so let's keep going. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to take Barry Bonds. He's still available. We could take Ricky Henderson. Uh, we don't really have like a, a leadoff hitter yet. So maybe, maybe we take Ricky. Uh... We'll, we'll wait off on left field for right now. Let's let's take a let's take a second baseman, and we're gonna go. I saw someone down here that kind of caught my eyes. Oh, he's not there anymore. Alfonso Soriano. We gotta take him. One of my favorite players. Alfonso Soriano is gonna be our second baseman. Throwback. We got Joe Carter. Hideki Matsui. Really? Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. Just a really good, over, like, well-rounded player. Hideki Matsui. Okay. All right. So, let's see. What do we still have available here? So, we need a first baseman, a catcher, and some pitchers. So, let's go with the first baseman now. Do I want Mark McGuire? Or do I want Prince Fielder? I feel like Prince Fielder is only going to get better. But it's Mark McGuire, you know? And I feel like there's so many good players. Uh, let's go Prince. Let's just go Prince. Let's 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 live it up. Let's have some fun with it. Prince Fielder. We're gonna definitely need a catcher after this. Ooh, Joe Mauer was available. There's it's like it's almost overwhelming how many good names are here. So let's let's uh Mordecai Brown, Cubs pitcher. Yep, yep, yep. Uh I'm alright for the memes, we're gonna take Phil Negro. For Phil Necro solely for that that uh, that knuckleball that knuckleball indeed so he's gonna be our starter that we focus on let's take a let's take a closer and then we'll take a um, another bench bat or something like that and then we'll just we'll just move forward I think we gotta take Jonathan Popelbon uh, he's just I remember watching him pitch oh he had some nasty stuff and then uh, let's take one more bat ooh this is these are some good ones. Did I see Chuck Knobloch? No way. Oh, man. Vinny Castilla. Okay. Vinny Castilla. No Mars available. Hmm. Sammy Sosa. Uh, Bobby Bonds. Huh. I feel like just because he's one of my favorite players growing up, Nomar Garcia Parra. And we're going to we're going to let the CPU handle the rest. We're going to let the CPU see what they can do for us. Um, see if they leave us with a pretty nice looking team. So No, no, I don't want to no, I want to simulate it and I'll show you guys what the team's looking like in a sec. All right, let me tell you I'm liking the looks of our team. We'll take a look at, you know, the pitching first, the pitching first, but Phil Necro is our ace. We got uh Mel Stottlemyre Ted Lyons, Orlando Hernandez, and Wilbur Cooper. A lot of throwback players, like not really modern day. Uh, we got Joe Horner. We got Luis Severino as a long relief pitcher. We got Lavelle, Victor Arano. I'm thinking I might try to trade him. I want I want someone a little bit better. We got Jim Corsi, Pablo Bon, Lindstrom, and Tex Hewson. So I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these pitchers 
I'm not too familiar with. So let's keep going into the lineup. This is where it gets really nice. We got Nomar, we got Tulo, Griffey, Manny Ramirez, A-Rod, Prince Fielder, Hideki Matsui, Alfonso Soriano, and Yachty. Look at just, oh, those hitting stats look so, so nice. Oof. He's like our worst hitter, and he's still going to hit bombs. I know he is. And, uh, ooh, this team's going to be good. So I still want to make a couple trades to see if we can make some trades. Um, I'm thinking maybe change a couple things with the pitching staff. The pitching for our squad is probably our weakest point. So let's hop into it, see what we can do. All right, we're going to make a trade right away. We're going to acquire LaTroy Hawkins for Victor Arano, Will Davino, and Rafael Espinosa. I remember him being with the Cubs. And I had a love-hate relationship with him. He either did really well. Oh, this is another guy I had a love-hate relationship with. Carlos Marmol. Nasty slider. But again, he either did very, very well or he blew it. He was like he was like a throwback Pedro Strope. Same with Latroy Hawkins. It's like you're either going to get a clutch outing or he's going to ruin it. He's going to ruin it. So I want to find a couple more pitchers. Um just to kind of strengthen it a little bit. And I think that might be it. I don't really want to change the lineup too much. All right, we're going for the freak Tim Lincecum of, I guess, with the Diamondbacks in this one. We're going with Jason Adam, Vogelbach, and Wilbur Cooper, who's one of our better pitchers, but we're getting Tim Lincecum. All right, we're getting Pedro Martinez for George Uhl, Bill Sher Sherdell, Shirtle, and Brett Chacon. It's Pedro Martinez. We got to get him. All right, so apparently Lucas Sims has like the trade value of a god because we're getting Byung Hyun Kim. I remember this guy had, he was like the OG submarine guy for me. Like I remember seeing him pitch and he literally would like scrape the ground almost. And uh, so Lucas Sims, Brandon Maurer, and Kazuhisa Makita. Those who were trading for Byung Hyun Kim. And just for a season, for a little extra pop off the bat, we're going to go Willie Stargell. Why not, right? All right, so after all of our moves, this is how we're looking. Again, the lineup hasn't changed too much. It's it's this part of the team that's changed a lot. This this team looks solid. The starting rotation looks scary. You got a very solid looking, uh, you know, bullpen look right here. I mean, whew, man, I'm I'm excited to see how this team goes. Um, I mean, when we look at the rest of the teams, they're obviously going to be very very stacked. I mean, it's it's going to be scary. So let's just continue into this rebuild and see how things play out for us. Like I said, I think this might be a very difficult rebuild for us. And we had, I mean, it's not a bad season, 87 and 75, but we made it as a wild card team. Uh, the postseason is a wild card team. That is um, no league leaders. We'll take a look just to kind of see what everybody did. We have a 342 for batting average, Larry Doby. 359 for Buck Leonard. Holy cow. All right, so we got 200 hits there. 221 for Buck Leonard. Uh, at bats, not too worried about that. Doubles, 57, 51. Triples, 14. Um, home runs, 51, 59. RBIs, 140, 154. Runs are up there as well. Stolen bases, 54 and 50. Okay walks on base percentage slugging ops i mean i have a feeling this stuff is going to be difficult wins are up there oh we had somebody with the most wins in the national league that's pretty cool okay losses N nothing for us i don't see anybody for us up there saves uh we got 11th okay um i did switch our our save like our closing pitcher halfway through the season so that might have been a, a issue mel stottlemyer is looking like he's going to be a, a good little little pickup for us a good little pitcher for us uh yeah i mean this is this one's gonna be tough oh we got an award what do we get gold glove okay that's good um so let's take a look at the mvp we got rogers hornsby and joe dimaggio 57 home runs cy young went to christy matthewson and walter johnson and then the batting title went to larry doby and buck leonard Gagne, Jeff Montgomery, and Rookie of the Year was Joe DiMaggio, and Big Poppy. All right, let's take a look, see how we did. Pitching-wise, Pedro Martinez, man. I mean, I, just like this. I wish it was a little bit better. Um, that is bad. That's not good. That's not good either. So Phil Negro was not the move, was not the move. But Mel Stottlemyre, he's looking pretty good. The Freak kind of struggled. 
I'm sorry, what? 10, 10 ERA, seven? What's up with the team? Our pitching sucks. Our pitching is horrible. And I mean, our bats, did we have anybody that hit 300? 286 is our closest. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. He hit 40 home runs. He hit 45 home runs. Huh. So even our bats didn't do too well. Ooh, we may have to figure something out. We definitely are going to have to figure something out because, woo, this is not the move. So let's hop into this uh, quick managed game against the Diamondbacks. I wonder who's on their squad. It looks like we're going Walter Johnson, which I'm pretty sure he won Cy Young. No, no, he didn't. But he was, he was a good pitcher. I remember I saw his name on a couple things. So one, two, three for us. They got Ricky Ashburn, Dustin Pedroia, Mike Schmidt, Frank Robinson, Cal Ripken Jr., Juan Soto, Will Clark, and then McCarver. Okay. All right. So nothing happening so far, which is kind of boring. Like I, I was expecting just bomb, 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 just crazy stuff. Griffey goes deep. Griffey goes deep. That's what I like to see. We have a two-run lead here. Uh, can we keep it going? First and second. Okay. Nothing happens there. Okay. They get one back. Uh, that sucks. Can we get one, like an insurance run maybe? There we go. We get out of that. Hideki's on base. Soriano brings in a run with the double. Maybe a little, little bunt. Move him over. Ooh, we get an error. That's even better. And a double play. Oh, you're killing me, man. Let's get out of this. Come on. One more out. One more out is what I needed, man. That's all we needed. Just one more. Latroy, come in, do the job. Latroy, what was I telling you? I got a love hate relationship with him. He either does really bad or he hurts us. So now we're down one. Oh, first and second, no outs. We gotta, we gotta take advantage of this. Sack fly, tie ball game. Whew. All right, Latroy, I swear. <laughs> oh, um. Runner thrown out. That was clutch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Moises Alu. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. We're down two in the ninth. We're really gonna. Oh, boy. Uh, we got a pinch hit. Um, let's go Foster. Flies out. Flies out. Nomar, keep us alive. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. So the Marlins defeated the Mariners. So let's go take a look at the Marlins roster since they are the World Series winners. They had Alomar, John Donaldson, not Josh Donaldson, Don, John. They got Mickey Mantle, Jeff Montgomery, uh, Yvonne Rodriguez, Mel Ott, Monte Irving, Jeter Musino. Oh, this is a team. Carlos Zambrano. Okay. Um, okay. They got, they got a solid squad. Doc Ellis, Josh Hamilton. Okay. All right, so I, I could see why they, they had a pretty solid team. And the other squad was the Mariners. So let's take a look at them. Gagne. Okay, Marischal, Satchel Page, Kurt Schilling. So they went like more towards like the pitching route to kind of get that strong squad. Okay, so maybe that's what we need to do because our pitching was was not the move. It was, it was, it was pretty bad. So let's see what we can do here. A few retired players. Tony Sip. I didn't even know he was in our... Our squad so Ichiro Kano and pool host retired as well exclusive negotiations we got quite a few pecking paw okay all right so I think Negro is not the move we're gonna let him go we're bringing back Griffey for sure um, and we'll probably just bring back everybody else here too um, just just to be you know safe so let me do this off camera and I'll check check back with you guys once I show you like the arbitration and other stuff see who we can bring in Alrighty, arbitration. I feel like we should just bring everybody back um, that we can. Um, contracts. I think like most of these guys are players I want back. Yeah. Um, and then big time free agents. We got to bring in some pitching for sure. Okay, so I definitely made some cha changes to the pitching because that was our biggest problem. The lineup, eh, it's, it's about the same. The only change is Hideki Matsui got moved to the bench. Um, everything else is the same uh george foster is gonna move into that left field spot um i mean and then uh 
yeah that's really about it we got a couple other names that are okay but nothing too crazy that i'm like oh we need to get them in the lineup but tom siever he joins us um so there's that and then Braden looper joins us we have carlos marmol who's up to a 90 so i got two players who i'm either gonna hate them and i want to strangle them or i'm gonna love them and they're gonna be perfect and then we brought in lee smith who i think is gonna be a really good closer for us so overall i mean it's it's not terrible you know what i mean it's not like i'm freaking out i think we definitely improved the pitching which was our biggest issue and it always seems to be one of our bigger issues in rebuilds but i feel like this team it's it's gonna be good we got nomar tulo i think tulo's only gonna get better um griffey's only gonna get better a rod prince fielder um prince fielder's kind of on a, the cusp of being replaced i think i was looking for a new left fielder really couldn't find one there but hopefully we can do something so season two we're gonna leave it like that and if we need to make any trades we will at the deadline all right we're acquiring mariano rivera at the deadline for season two Oof, hideki matsui and Houston are being traded they're just they're not doing too well Houston's struggling and hideki matsui's just riding pine because he sucks he doesn't hit the ball very well so that's there's one um i do i do want to get a bench bat somehow um so i'm going to look around see what kind of players are available for bench bats and then uh we'll uh we'll go from there Alrighty, so the whole nomar garcia para thing's not working out i even tried moving Al alfonso soriano to left and then nomar to second instead we're bringing in barry bonds okay so after the addition of barry bonds our team's looking solid on offense um nothing else has changed really and then pitching we brought in mariano rivera and i mean the pitching's actually holding its own so we're looking very solid now all right, it's looking like pitching is the solution to good legend rebuilds because what we just did is a lot better. We won 95 games with 65 losses, and we actually won the division, which is good. That's good. So league leaders, Griffey had the best war, and Tom Seaver, it looks like he was a solid pickup for us. So batting average, Jose Altuve. Okay, Wade Boggs. All right, Wade Boggs had the most hits. Um, doubles, okay some interesting names there triples kenny lofton uh jose reyes let's see how we did last year because he was someone i thought about getting he actually had a pretty solid season so home runs hornsby manny ramirez griffey and bonds are all there and then i saw a rod and prince fielder okay all right rbis do we have a couple griffey and bonds a rod prince fielder as well um all right okay we got some runs Stolen bases? No, we're not really a, a fast team when you think about it. Some walks, uh, base percentage is up, slugging percentage, OPS, <laughs> wins. Okay, we got some wins. Low losses, any saves? Lee Smith is up there. Mariano Rivera, I saw. Let's look at the awards. We got a Cy Young. So MVP again, Rogers Hornsby. It's looking like he's the man to, to have. Like he just looks like an absolute beast. Um, Jimmy Fox won it. So Tampa Bay's got a pretty solid squad. We got the Cy Young. We said Roger Clemens. Ooh, okay. Tampa Bay's got a squad for sure. Wade Boggs had the batting title and Altuve. Reliever of the year for Jeff Montgomery once again. Nobody for the American League, which is interesting. Rookie of the year was Michael Young and Harry Haleman. So let's see. Let's see how this squad went. Tom Seaver, that's a solid season, you know. Uh, Pedro Martinez, that's better than last year, so I'm cool with that. Tim Lincecum, maybe he's just not, he's not good for this kind of rebuild, unfortunately, which sucks because I love Tim Lincecum when we played. Uh, Mel wasn't as good as he was last year, and Ted Lyons wasn't too bad. Brandon Loop, Braden Looper was eh. Byung Hyun Kim was okay. All right. Joe Horner sucked again. I mean, he halved his ERA. That's that's saying something so that's a good start latour hawkins actually did a lot better because at the midway point he had like a five era so he definitely picked it up um after the deadline carlos marmol did very well popple bond ooh, those are some nice looking stats lee smith is there and mariano rivera not too bad but i'm gonna i'm gonna make lee smith be our closer looking at the lineup how'd our bench do bad okay that's pretty good um that's not great 
Um, too low, 24 home runs. Okay. Griffey though, 44 home runs, 119 RBIs with a 300 average. We got 312 for Manny Ramirez with 46 home runs. Okay. Barry Bonds was good. All righty. A-Rod solid. Prince Fielder did very well. George Foster as our DH was okay. Soriano struggled a little bit. And then Yachty was pretty solid as well. So the lineup, I like it. I like it a lot. So let's hop into this Padres matchup. And we swept them. We swept them indeed. Let's go take, let's just take a look at the Padres team that we just beat. Just to kind of get an idea. They have Yogi Berra, Whitey Ford, Tom Glavin, Ricky Henderson. They got Lindor. So, I mean, the, okay, Andrew Jones, Larry Walker. So, they got some good names. Vlad Jr., Bernie Williams. Okay. So, they, they, they got a decent squad for sure. Um, but I think we're, we're a little bit, a little bit better. So... Let's uh let's get the squad, you know, assembled the right way. Tim Lincecum actually pitched really well. All right, so we're going against the Marlins. I'm pretty sure they won last year, right? They beat the the Mariners, yeah. So this could be a tough matchup for us. Um, three two. Ooh, game seven to go to the World Series to take on the Rangers. All right, taking on the 162. Ooh, um, who do we go with? We got to go with the freak. He's he's feeling it. He's feeling it. So shortstop, we don't have a backup shortstop. Yeah, we do. But we're going to leave in too low. So can we start it off right? Griffey takes him deep. There we go. And we get two runs this inning. Can we add some more? We can't. So they got Alomar, Jeter, Mantle, Mel Ott, Pudge, Eddie Murray. They got a squad. This is going to be a good matchup for us. Um, I feel like if we beat them, we should be set. But we got to beat him. Griffey's two for two with two solo shots. Are you serious? He's feeling it. This is his game. He's going to lead us to victory for sure. All right. That's a, this, this is a good outing. One hit through four innings. Can Griffey do it again? If he would have done it again, I would have lost it. I would have 100% lost it in a video. So, Lincecum, come on. Keep that shutout going. That's what I like to see. Ooh, we got thrown out at home. Okay. We get out of that inning. So six solid innings from Tim Lincecum. Can we get some more insurance? Mm. All right. So seven innings. Seven innings. All right. Let's see. Prince Fielder starts us off with a double. Then a single. Soriano brings in the run. <sighs> to be safe, he is a little bit tired. So let's bring in a bench bat. Um, we're going to bring in Mosby. Bases loaded for Yachty. Double play. Come on. You got to be kidding me. All right, we're going to bring in, let's go, let's go Rivera. One run scores, double play gets us out of it. All right, solo shot, Manny Ramirez, and we got that four run lead back. We're going to bring in the man, Lee Smith, and he shuts the door. We're taking on the Rangers in the World Series. All right, so... Don't want Lincecum pitch. I mean, actually, Lincecum could pitch. We'll just do this. Yeah. Right? We want... Oh, our... Ooh, ooh. Yikes. Our starters have struggled a little bit this postseason, but the Rangers, we lose. Okay, 1-1. 2-1. 2-2. 3-2. Okay, we lost 2-1. 2-2. So let's hop into it. Let's see how things go. And let's just, because I also want to see what their squad looks like. So we're going to have, we're going to have Pedro Martinez. Or, yeah, we'll let Pedro Martinez pitch. And let's see what they got. Alan Trammell, Carl Yastrzemski, Mookie Betts, Ron Sano, Ryan Sandberg. Okay, so they got a decent squad. We're going against Tim Hudson. And that's a good start for us. So can we get a run early? That's what we need. We need a run early. They get that run early though. So, all right, we get a, we get a single. Prince Fielder, he's got that lumberjack swing. He definitely, he he, you know, he crushed it like 700 feet right there. So we, two one game. Oh no, three two game. Ah, oh no, five two. This might get ugly. Pedro Martinez, come on man. All right, so he gave us five. He's done. He's done, unfortunately. All right, five four game. Okay, all righty. I like that. He's done. Uh, we're going to go to Kim 
one two three inning i like it tulo soriano someone get on base all right that was a good inning right there i like that all right all right so yadi's up a walk line out ken griffey jr you are a legend all right young hoon kim no 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 don't do this to me all right so a tie ball game in the bottom of the eighth inning can we do it first and second no outs we got a pinch hit here uh facing a a righty uh let's go to mosby mosby just move him over if anything yeah that's all we had to do sack fly we're up one we're up one griffey does it again griffey is the man top nine two run lead lee smith come and do your job man do your job please um uh, one more one more there it is we win a world series we beat the rangers and let's see what these awards are looking like. A-Rod, playoff MVP, and Yadi Molina with the World Series MVP. Okay. All right. Let's take a quick look at the squad, see how things went. Lincecum, I thought, pitched very well in the playoffs. Pedro was a little shaky. A little shaky. Tom Seaver, a little shaky as well. Stottlemyre, yeah, the whole pitching, like, starting rotation besides Tim Lincecum was questionable at best. Um, but it's looking like... Besides Joe Horner, our bullpen, Mariano Rivera, our bullpen carried us um, pitching-wise. And then looking at the lineup, I mean, everybody swung a hot bat. Uh, okay, maybe not these two. I lied. Those two were kind of quiet, but everybody else was pretty solid. And I think that's a, that's a pretty good one. So let's hop into Season 3. I do want to make a couple tweaks to the team, and that'll be the last season. Let's see if we can go back-to-back -back in a Legend rebuild. Okay, because he constantly destroys the league. We're going for Rogers Hornsby. Might as well give him a shot, see how he does. We are going to trade away Alfonso Soriano, but now we got a new power hitting second baseman. Sounds weird saying that. All right, we're also going to try a new shortstop, Honus Wagner. Let's give him a shot. All right, this is how we're looking for the season. Hornsby's new, Honus Wagner's new. Everybody else is going to stay the same. I like the team. We have so much power i'm liking what we're working with here all right time to see the pitching rotation not too much has changed we're actually going to leave it the same just because of how strong it was last year so that's that's the team guys i'm liking it season three let's see how it goes i lied we're trading tim lincecum for roger clemens we got to do it tim lincecum's been struggling and then that's four we need one more good starting pitcher i noticed all righty the oh i mean we're getting randy johnson this is starting rotation is nutty now so let's take a look at it real quick real quick because it's gonna be oof it's gonna be nice mel get out of here where's randy oh and i think Mel's gonna be sent down because we're gonna have too many yeah so he's gonna be sent down to triple a um i'll make sure triple a has enough players and then we still need to send somebody else down huh what do we got to do here maybe a no we got extra pitcher. Someone needs to be sent down. I'll figure it out. All right. Super team assemble. Holy cow. The team we have created is unstoppable. 114 wins. Just whew, we're taking on the winner of the wild card, which means we're going to get knocked out. You guys know how it works. So Hornsby, Manny Ramirez, Barry Bonds, Randy Johnson, Mariano Rivera, Tom Seaver. We got league leaders all over the place. And then looking at the awards, Hornsby, MVP, three straight years, Barry Bonds with the Hank Aaron Award, and we got another Cy Young. Man, ooh, Ernie Banks. Okay, I actually was considering trading for him instead of Honus Wagner. So, Clayton Kershaw sneaking in here. Okay. All right, Richie Ashburn, Jackie Robinson, Juan Pizarro, Bullet Rogan. Okay, all right, all right. Some pretty interesting stats there. Um, looking at the, the pitchers, we got Tom Seaver, solid. Pedro Martinez, solid. Roger Clemens, solid for sure. Severino and then Randy Johnson. And then when we look at the rest of the squad, they sent down they sent down these guys. Why are they sending those guys down? I don't understand that. But um Yeah, these guys haven't even pitched. Why are we making why are we making changes on me like that? I don't appreciate it. 
Um, can we can we add them to the playoff roster? We can. So we're gonna bring them back because there are better pitchers than what you know are currently sitting right here. So remove remove and remove so now we got our solid bullpen back yes yes that's what i'm talking about this is this is the squad for sure boom that's what i'm talking about all right let's take a look at the lineup see how things went hornsby's a beast 50 home runs are you kidding me gross ken griffey down year for him manny ramirez solid as well 50 home runs 41 for barry bonds a rod had 42 Prince Fielder a little quiet this season. Um, Pecking Paw, he did pretty solid. Honus Wagner was pretty reliable as well. And Yachty's there. You guys can see the squad over here. It's, you know, it's okay. It's not too bad. But let's hop into this game against the the, the uh, Diamondbacks again. I told you guys, you know how things work. We always come against the wild card team and we always lose. It's gonna happen. We're gonna go with Randy Johnson though. So let's see how things go. Um, it's, it looks like a pretty comparable team to what they had last time. Um, but let's see if we can win because if we lose, that would suck a lot. Garrett Cole's on the mound for them. And then our only hit is our pitcher Randy Johnson as I say that Manny Ramirez goes deep gives us that one nothing lead a walk okay Randy Johnson getting things done and then Rogers Hornsby puts the cherry on top right there and we got a four run lead let's keep it going let's add a couple more that's not what I want to see Cal calm down I need you to I need you to take a seat take a seat for sure all right that probably was his last inning you know what? I'm gonna get greedy. Mm, I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy. <sighs> oh boy, that was almost really bad. Um, almost very bad. So we're just gonna hop straight into the series against the Marlins, and face elimination. Sweet, not the best. We're gonna hop. We're, we're gonna win this. I have. I have that feeling. Tom Seaver, no, Pedro Martinez, take the mound, lead us to victory. Um, looks like the same team that we faced last year with the Marlins as well. So come on. So it's look like the Marlins got a solid team set up. Um, we only have one hit again. It's not good. It's not good enough. First and second with two outs though. <sighs> we got to take those. We got to get those runs in. We got to get those runs in. Prince Fielder solo shot. All right, I'll take that. Okay, Yachty's on. Sack bunt moves him over. Just can't can't get that guy in. All right, Pedro Martinez might be done after six. We got a leadoff double. Runners at the corners. A-Rod, I just need you to dink it. What? Uh, all you had to do is just hit a little sack fly. We would have been good. Um, Lee Smith. Okay, Lee Smith does his job. Honus Wagner. Another solo shot for us. We got a two run lead. All right, that was Lee Smith's last inning. All right, Roner, oh, he's thrown out at home. But we do get we do get an insurance run for the man, Mariano Rivera, to shut the door. Perfect, all right, awesome. So let's keep it going. And last game of this series, to move on to the World Series, Roger Clemens to move on to the World Series. Can we do it? All right, we get out of that. Manny Ramirez gives us that that early lead. Then A Rod makes it two. Couldn't get any more out of it though. So two one game. Can we get another solo shot? No, not this time. No two two. Ah, come on guys, we need to we need to get that lead back. Roger Clemens? No. Hmm. All right, single. That's a good start. First and second. Barry Bonds, please. Double play. Are you kidding me? Bases loaded, one out. Fielder's choice. Two run score. No. Ooh. Lead off double, though. Nothing happens. One run scores. Roger Clemens' day is done. 
So we're down three. We have three innings left. Huh. Two innings left. All right, it all comes down to this. Is our season over? Oh, no, it's over. The Marlins got a team. That's three straight, like... NLCS like that's that's a solid team let's take a look at the Astros since they just won um, really quick but this was a lot of fun this was something different um, I mean looking at this team this is a good team holy cow yeah this is a this is a good team I like it this is definitely a solid team and I mean our team was I had a lot of fun with it Hornsby Griffey Manny Ramirez Bonds A-Rod Prince Fielder like this was a pretty solid team we assembled i thought our pitching staff just some players didn't show up severino struggled clemens tom siever looking at it yikes kim 10 era it's just not good enough but overall i mean this is like i was saying it's a lot of fun again guys the roster is called legends league 1889 to 2019 so again it'll be right here i'll put it right there for you guys it was a lot of fun i enjoyed doing this there's so many different legends in here you guys could you guys could literally go season for season for season and just constantly change out your teams i would highly recommend doing ignore budgets though because keeping a solid team with these kind of budgets with with limited budgets would be almost impossible so ignore budgets for sure but this was a lot of fun i had like this this was one of the better rebuilds i really enjoyed this one and i hope you guys did too as per usual guys if you did enjoy it hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content let's hit 15,000 subscribers this month i have something planned for when we do hit 15,000 subscribers so i, I want i want to un you know i want to unveil it i want to show you guys what i've been kind of thinking about so 15,000 subscribers would be a big milestone and I want to show you guys what I have planned. So with that being said, guys, in the comment section, let me know some other rebuild challenges, ideas you have. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.